Hey, today on the Cooligans, we're gonna be talking about Chicharito. Let's go! That's right. Also, Atlanta's gonna be starting to get some plane tickets to DC <laughs> to see their old homies. All right. So all this and more today on the Cooligans. Yeah, baby. Whoa! I got nothing. <laughs> He's out of gas, folks. <laughs> Car has sputtered to a stop. <laughs> Shoot the old dog. <laughs> He's got no more barks. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Cool Against. My name is Christian Polanco. And I'm nervous that if I lose my voice, I'll have no career. <laughs> Alexis Guerreros. I mean, I'm not nervous because uh, it, it'll give me some peace of mind. <laughs> Finally. And I'm going to have to make myself into a piece of ass. <laughs> That's all I got left, mama. <laughs> Why are you telling your mama about your career choices? Wow. Uh, yes, welcome to the show. <laughs> we are the Cool Against. We are your favorite uh, stand-up comedians that host the funniest soccer show that you have ever seen. You're damn right. And it's also what, Alexis? The raspy is the, <laughs> it's the gulliest. Okay. You already know what my, it is. Th uh, thank you, my co-host, Taya Leone. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Huge fan. Um, so, yes, welcome to the show, everybody. We, yeah, we, uh, we this too when many did her voice to... become raspy? Why did our voice? When? Become... When? Yeah. Uh, I I don't know. Puberty? I don't know. What to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. We'll move on. Probably in Baltimore, which we'll talk about in a moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but oh, did she do thirty-five <laughs> interviews? Because we did. So uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, welcome to the show. We this uh, a million things to discuss. Uh, right. Yeah. Like even before, after you know, after the MLS playoffs were done, MLS Cup was awarded. Uh, we were heading into the off season there we were like you know everybody worries what is the what is there gonna be a talk about guy do you guys take a break no we don't no we, we do go not. the way through what do you guys talk about and we're always like trust us yeah 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 there's enough <laughs> the, everybody the football producers were like look i'm kind of worried <laughs> the, the news cycle seemed to seem to be a little bit slow if i were you i would stock up on ibuprofen <laughs> <laughs> and some energy drinks because <laughs> off season in mls is Wildly, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it, it's incredibly entertaining, and we'll we'll get to the Chicharito announcement. We'll get to the Julian Gressel wow. announcement, which that was a huge one. I did not. That was this morning. I'm just like, excuse me, yeah, you know, I excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> he went back in time. That's when he first Hola, learned the language. Well, con take it easy, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Esto es mucho, coño. <laughs> Tranquilo, señores. Tranquil easy. <laughs> Put the two together. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's too much going on in, in American soccer, but we have to talk about uh, our time in uh, um, in Baltimore. If if U.S. soccer or American soccer was your friend, you'd be like, "Yo, you're doing too much. <laughs> you need to take it take it down a notch." <laughs> Is U.S. soccer anyone's friend? <laughs> <laughs> Do they want us to be their friends? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> we're trying our best. Anyway, but uh, we we were in Baltimore for the United Soccer Coaches Convention. That's right. Uh, this is our, our third year uh, going, our second time. And I'm happy to announce just as many dad jeans <laughs> as there have been in the last two years. No, no, this, that is the uniform for what? the American <laughs> soccer coach. You know, when I'm like straight fit or boot cut, why even sell these? Who's buying them? You are soccer coaches, that's who. <laughs> Don't you dare get those off the shelves. I want 32% of all the backs of my sneakers covered. <laughs> so we did have a good time there, but before we get, before we continue, let's, uh, we do have a box oh, over right. here that we should, uh, we should open. What a box, by the way. It's got an advertisement for a movie on there, which we can't talk about. <laughs> okay. Alexis, just wanted to send along a little gift from our branch to you. Thank you for your support of the greatest team in the world, Arsenal. Ha <laughs> ha, shouts to you. Uh, enjoy the gifts and stay gully. I'm not going to say who it's from. It's from Corey, branch manager of uh, the Minneapolis St. Paul Arsenal Supporters Group and the North Elite. And there's a little note for you. Okay, and says, uh, sorry, Christian, I would have sent something for you as well, but you support the wrong club. Yeah, okay. your, <laughs> your team is trash, B. Here, whole stickers okay. of a team that's winning. Look at that. <laughs> it, 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 I'm being trolled th with a handwritten note. It hurts. Oh, I dropped a pin, and I'm not going to pick it up because these jeans are going to burst. But look at this. <laughs> oh, this is dope right here. Oh, really cool. All right, thanks, wow, Corey. Dude, how do these, how do these like uh, local affiliates got such nice merch? Wow, look at this scarf. Amazing. This. Hold this up on one end. Okay. 
Look at you. Do something. <laughs> you look like a co-rack. Act like one. <laughs> okay. Is this all right? First Corey, now you. <laughs> yeah. Please, tone it down. Everybody gets it. Look at this. <laughs> Arsenal Twin Cities. All right. I know what I'm wearing next time I go. Look at this. All right. You look good. All right. Thank you. All uh, right. And uh, okay. So, Shouts to you, St. Paul slash Minnesota Gooners, <laughs> MSP Gooners. So uh, we should also uh, mention uh, the uh, while we were in Baltimore, we got to talk to a bunch of cool people. Um, uh, who are some of the the, the notable figures we spoke to Peter Wilt. Uh, Peter Wilt. Peter I mean, Wilt. The, if you don't know the name, he so he was one of the the guys that uh, you know uh, helped start up Forward Madison. Uh, he uh, uh, who else? Uh, we spoke to uh, Sean Wright Phillips. He also won. He won a championship with uh, Chicago Fire. That's first right. Year. Yeah, he was. A, he dude. He's involved in uh, very heavily involved in the creation of of. of Major League Soccer and just American Soccer General. He's working with USL now. Yeah, uh, we, Sean Wright Phillip. Sean Wright Phillip. Uh, uh, you may have heard of. Uh, he's a, a, one of the most famous families. Uh, of, the, of the London Wright Phillips. <laughs> 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 yes, brother of Bradley, son of Ian. Uh, it sounds like a Game of Thrones character. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he's from the house of Wright Phillip. <laughs> uh, we spoke to Emily Olsen of Sirius XMFC, also right. from Pro Soccer USA. Uh, in incredible. We had a great time talking to a whole we bunch, did a of bunch of people. We did a bunch of other podcasts. It was awesome. Uh, we also, we inspired a 14-year-old girl to get into podcasting, so I'm sorry to her family. <laughs> we've, we've yes, somehow. that was just, there was a, uh, a young girl. I think she was like 13 or 12. I don't remember exactly it her age. beautiful she, game. She, just, she was 14. Okay. She was 14. She she just, she was it was just like we were on podcast row, and we're like amongst uh, all, you know, all these adult you know, soccer nerds, right? right? And then it's just a, a child also on podcast right. row. Child soccer. Her. No, I don't know. She's a, <laughs> she's, a, she's, a, she's a sweetheart. She apparently like uh, she had like a bad coaching situation, mm -hmm. and like a ref yelled at her, and she said, "Oh, the game has gotten too negative. Already jaded at 14 <laughs> years old. I remember when I was a kid, <laughs> three years prior." <laughs> and she decided to start a podcast to be more positive. Yeah. And because of that, she did not ask us to be on the show. <laughs> well, no, she doesn't need that kind of uh, cynicism yeah. on her on her show. You want to know what life is like? <laughs> well, okay, we've been in this podcast yeah. game for a few years, young lady. They're going to act like they like you, but trust me, they do not like you. <laughs> <laughs> they remember everything you've ever said. <laughs> she, le she leaves the convention smoking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's smoking a cigar. <laughs> She's just like, wow, yeah. I didn't know these three days would change me completely. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, it ain't worth going home. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead. I'll make my life here in Baltimore. <laughs> and I gotta give a, a, a shout out because while we were at the at the convention, we went to a party, uh, uh, the rap party, basically for the for, for the convention. And I got this shirt that you see uh, right over here. It says "Con Todo," uh, and this which it, is how you order a taco. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. I'm, I, I actually don't even know why it's it's specifically in reference to. It's how I'm, you order a taco. I'm gonna assume it's uh, it's 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 a taco related shirt. Yeah. Uh, so it is. Uh, so this is from uh, Redwood City. Uh, J A S A. I don't know how to uh, uh, the, the, how to pronounce. It, so it basically, it's uh, an in, uh, independent adult soccer training academy. And I met the dude. Uh, we were at this party, and uh, I see the shirt on him, uh, and I said, Hey man, this is a great shirt. I would love to buy that shirt. Where can I get it? He's like, oh, we don't really sell it. Uh, I'm like, oh, cool. Is there any way I can get one? I'm happy to give you money or anything. He's like, oh, I don't know. And he's like, you want, you want this one? The shirt he's wearing. Uh, and I'm like, sure, if you don't mind or whatever. He's like, you want to trade shirts? This, this, this is an XL shirt. I'm medium. I'm like, no, it's not gonna. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna really work. It would have well. been much funnier. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so he's like, all right, here, just take my shirt. He just gives me his shirt in the middle of a party. He wasn't wearing an undershirt. No undershirt. A hairy dude. A hairy dude. Sweaty. <laughs> hairy <laughs> dude. Give you the shirt off his back. Yes. You're doing laundry for the guy. So you're doing... <laughs> I got to send it back to Redwood City, California. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but thank you for, for the shirt. And yeah, we, we met a lot of people who were a lot of coaches who listened to the show. Which it, is wild. It's so cool. Because uh, I'm like, you're here to take care of the children of the future. <laughs> And we're when you we're an influence. We're here to destroy those yeah. children. Oh no! <laughs> it seems uh, counterproductive. <laughs> uh, and while we were also there, we uh, the, the the ISC 
uh, their their conference happened at the same time as the convention. Right. So we, uh, just like last year, we got to do stand up for them, and we also did a, a fun little MLS roast. We decided to roast uh, some of the clubs. Yeah, and it was uh, it was incredible, super fun. It was a, a rowdy time, which right. we, now we know this is something we have to do again. Oh, so, absolutely. So uh, and we've got to go twice as hard. <laughs> so here's a here's a clip. From, little, a little tidbit, a little taste. Yeah, I will. moose boosh, if so you will. So take a look at this, and we'll be back uh, after you see this. Uh, is FC Cincinnati here? Wow. Okay. okay. Uh, wow, Lexus is impressed. That's what you know. Yeah, did FC Cincinnati show up? Oh, no, wait, that was a quote from every team playing FC Cincinnati last year. <laughs> Chicago, Chicago Fire here. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I, can't, I can't recognize you. You look a little different. Yeah, right. uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some of y'all got plastic surgery at Microsoft Paint. <laughs> Okay, all right, wasn't that fun? Oh my God, that's just, everybody gets it. We've said it before, <laughs> we say it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, and even though you only saw a clip of two, yeah, trust me, everybody got it. We will be, uh, if you want to see the full one, we'll be uh, giving it to our Gully Squad members. So, yeah, join uh, Gully Squad, bruh. And if you want to see the whole thing, it's uh, super, super fun, so trust me. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's start uh, real quick with a couple uh, reviews that we yeah, got on. because we show love to people, show love to us. Exactly, that is the rule. That's rule number That's th right. That's rule number two of uh, Cooligans. Right, when, like, when a fan would come up to us in Baltimore and say, yo, I love you guys, I would say, hey, I love you. And I would just stare at them when I'm blinking. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we we left Baltimore with a couple restraining orders. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, for some reason, a couple less followers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we want to give a, a shout out. Thank you f to Phil a Monster on uh, on iTunes. So help uh, helping us get uh, you know 700 uh, the, for the quest for 700. That's reviews. right. You know who Philly is, right? Phil a Monster. Uh, who? That's the dude from uh, Defenders of the Bank. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, no, yeah, I was yeah, not yeah. aware. Was he was aware. from uh, was from Queens. All right, sweet. So he says, uh, uh, says favorite soccer podcast, five stars. It says, as a soccer pod podcaster, I look up to Alexis and Christian. Okay. I'm so sorry. Big mistake. Sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what they have done in five short years is awesome. Their show is by far my favorite soccer podcast. They are knowledgeable, uh, funny, and very entertaining. Always uh, look forward to new episodes. Keep up the good works, uh, work, my friends. FYI, Danny's Pizza on Leffert is better than fine, LOL. Okay, all right. Look, uh, uh, I said it's fine because I was trying to be nice, <laughs> right? Because I'm, I'm in your, I'm in your presence. Okay. <laughs> Alexis Caesar has already yeah. determined <laughs> the fate of uh, uh, Danny's Pizza. The sauce is too sweet. <laughs> they actually it says it on the shirt: "Sweet sauce, home of the sweet sauce." Just because Action Bronson likes it doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's got a problem. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, next up, uh, we have another review, oh, right? That's right. We, that's right. Danny's just trying. No, I'm joking. <laughs> All right. This one is uh, the funniest soccer show I've ever listened to, period. Ooh. Right? That's the subject. <laughs> so you know he's going to bring heat and the, and the rest of it. Five stars or else we don't read it. This is by MIG9000. Okay. Great right. album he dropped in the 90s. <laughs> uh, it's even better than the football ramble. Okay. Wow. Shots are being fired. Wow. Okay. Smoke <laughs> is traveling across the pond. Get the gat, get the gat, get the gat. Oh, because no. it's getting real right now. You see these Brits? <laughs> Brits are running to their sailboats to defend the <laughs> island. <laughs> Thank you for, uh, yeah, we love the football ramble. Those great, are the homies, great, football great ramble. Great dudes. We saw them live when they were here in New York. That's right. But look, the, look, the, the world is speaking. Oh, I, so I, you're welcome to be mentioned amongst the greats. <laughs> <laughs> you know? If someone said you're faster than Usain Bolt, 
that's still pretty fast for Usain Bolt. <laughs> okay, we are blessing you with the compliment. Yeah, you're welcome for being second to us. <laughs> so thank you uh, for that. So make sure to go on uh, Apple Podcasts and leave a review or on whatever podcast platform uh, you use. Anyway, okay. So let's get to the big noticias. Here it is. Okay, because the she, <laughs> MLS is becoming a TV and a TV novela. <laughs> I love it. All right, uh, because El Chicharito is finally Major League Soccer has been announced. This is uh, it. As we're t- uh, taping this, there will be a uh, a formal presentation uh, right. uh, by the LA Galaxy. But that's it. Well, he Chicharito. comes out of a, he comes out of a burrito. <laughs> he just punches his way out of a burrito. <laughs> Interesting move. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But, but you gotta like it's chicharito con todo. Con right? todo. <laughs> That's why we put this up. That's why he's wearing that. And no one told me. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is unreal. I mean, we were talking about it last week because it was heavily rumored. Uh, and now he's finally here. They put out a uh, LA Galaxy put out like a, a you know the the welcome video and they did the whole thing. It was uh, a dope. Wasn't that newspaper kind of leaked it all first though, right? I mean, I'm sure that was very much planned. They had all the photos. Yeah, but they had him in like the new kit they haven't even released the kit what's going on with mls this year <laughs> uh yeah they do they got everything sort of like backwards uh yeah they're doing everything everybody's stressed everyone's yeah. running around they're doing all these big announcements they, there's no cba in place there might be there might not be any games yeah chicharito <laughs> might, might be getting an extended vacation <laughs> so uh just incredible I'm, I'm i'm excited we you know we were just the, the rumors uh on their own uh were enough to get people like in an uproar but this is just great I, i'm excited think, to see him play i wonder how this is affecting the season and tickets uh i mean i i think Alex usually pretty much sells out every game right or something close to it close i mean they have a really good fan base but yeah i'm wondering yeah. if this is like you know i mean those are way game. i i think it's gonna be uh a close to if not bigger effect uh of, of zlatan when zlatan went on the away games for la galaxy are gonna be are this gonna is be wild. way bigger and yeah. i gotta be honest Chicharito isn't going to pay for a meal in Los Angeles. <laughs> the city no, is 50% no. they, Mexican. They're going to make a law making it illegal to charge Chicharito <laughs> yeah. for meat, food. If someone, <laughs> I dare like the white person at the counter to hand Chicharito <laughs> a receipt and just someone smacks him from the back. He just gets stomped out. Put some respect on that man's name. And I say, con todo. Get, get it right. You know his order. Take right all the guacamole. We're so <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> incredible. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm. I, I think he's gonna do very, very well. Um. I mean, I, those games going to Chicago, going like you know, the Chicago's big, gonna be lit. Sh- Soldier Field. I, honestly, I feel it's I, sold out. LA Galaxy. I don't know if they play this year in Chicago. I hope they do. But that, that game will be sold out. I Soldier like, Field. I feel like MLS well, is gonna switch things around. <laughs> gonna, hey, this gonna this one. Like, yeah, you're gonna have to go play <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Vancouver. Yeah, yo, out. Minnesota. You're playing in Chicago <laughs> now. <laughs> I don't know what to uh, tell you. So, it, it, incredible. So, I'm excited about that. But then, on top of that, th- I was excited about the Chicharito news. But then, another bombshell, Major League Soccer, in Major League Soccer. Um, Fan Julie, favorite. Julian Gressel dr- traded to D.C. United. What is going on? <laughs> this is a... This is a beloved. It, beloved. I mean, the fans absolutely loved him. He, he, he was very vocal and honest about, uh, about wanting to realistically get paid more money, right? He's, he's definitely earned a raise. Right. Uh, and now we know, uh, according to Stephen Goff of... Uh, of uh, oh, I forgot what publication he writes for. But yeah, Stephen at Goff, Soccer Insider, though, I think he writes for the, uh, the Post, no? No, Washington Times? I could be wrong. Who cares? Uh, we'll, we'll confirm. Who cares? Anyway. You know who he is. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, he got traded for cash. Yeah, for Tam, uh, I guess uh, Tam and Gamba. He's gonna he's gonna get a raise. He's it's apparently he's gonna be paid. He he goes from one hundred and fourteen thousand dollars a season to uh, roughly seven hundred k plus incentives. What a bump. Good raise. I understand why you would leave. I'd go anywhere you wanted for that kind of <laughs> that kind of change. Uh, this is yes, friend of the show, man. We uh, we our first live show outside of New York City uh, right. was with Julian Gressel. Uh, and, and You're welcome. All right, <laughs> we got you this money, bro. Bro, now I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna pitch some 
app ideas now that you got this money. All right? All right. Hi, Jules. <laughs> All right, uh, Julian Shark Tank Gressel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I passed. Oh. How dare you? Um, no, this is... The, I, I, look, if you follow the, the hashtag, uh, you know, ATLUTD, you will see a lot of a lot of tears, a lot of genuine uh, disappointment and sadness. Atlanta fans are wild furious. They weren't this furious... When, uh, what's his name? Yamil Assad? Uh, no, Yamil Assad, they were upset. LGP. But when Donington Abbey, everybody was like, ah, Yeah, peace. even Donington Abbey never, I mean, he wasn't a year one guy, right? No. So he, and, and there were also, like, issues in the beginning also, of the season. Also, Julian Russell was, like, a draft pick, and he, like, built himself up to be the superstar. They say you can't get none in the draft. I've said you can't get none in the draft, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> but, let's make it clear. I'd be like, why are we even doing this draft thing? <laughs> but look at this. I yeah. mean, he turned himself into a $700,000. And I know... The soccer players everywhere else in the world are like, that's it? Yeah, yeah. I know, but yo, in MLS, 700K? Yeah, he came in the same year as Jack Harrison, right? Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, and look at, look, you know, some of these uh, draft picks uh, getting paid, you know, it's making crazy. huge moves. So, uh, Julian Gressel gets reunited with Yamil Assad that's right. uh, over, over at DC United. And uh, I, I think this one move uh, in itself, Edison Flores, Yamil Assad, Julian Gressel, DC's uh, Ola, Ola Kamara, yeah. DC United is going to be a real threat. I mean, I, I I don't know if they can necessarily win the East, but arguably they're they're in like top three seeds, right? Right. To, to they also made Atlanta weaker. Yeah, this is a weird move, right? Yeah. I, I, a lot of people are questioning uh, Carlos Bocanegra's decision and Darren Neal's decision to to let Julian because Russell whatever go. money you got for him, you're gonna have to spend that much to get a good player. That plays to his level. Yeah, I hope it works out. Uh, <laughs> Good luck, Brooks Lennon. <laughs> You're going to need that. A lot of pressure uh, on, on your shoulders. So, okay, uh, we'll get back talking about a bunch of stuff after this, everybody. That's right, baby, we're back. Yo, okay, so look, we don't get a chance to talk about the Ecuadorian league all that often. It's a shame. And I've, I've told you for years we should pivot to yeah. Ecuadorian soccer a little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> and you know what? You you were right. <laughs> but I was waiting for something to bubble <laughs> yes. to the tippity top of the news. And we got it. Okay. <laughs> we are here. We Ecuador has arrived. <laughs> what up, Ecuador? <laughs> We're paying attention. You got uh, <laughs> Okay, yes, you picked our interest. Uh, <laughs> because who knew it was bring your side piece to the game day. <laughs> yes, uh, interesting uh, approach by Barcelona SC. The video's playing, so you're watching it. Yes. Uh, uh, the fans were like, you know what? The wife isn't into soccer. <laughs> So let me bring her cousin. <laughs> uh, so my, yes. so my, if you don't know, if you haven't seen this video, this is a, a guy who got caught on the Jumbotron, uh, basically showing a little bit of affection to a lady that he was with. As soon as he saw himself on the screen, he... Making out with her. Yeah, look, I mean, look, all, I, mean, know, I wouldn't call that making kiss. out. I don't know. That's not, to me, that's a, pe- a kiss on the cheeks, not first base necessarily. Yeah, I mean, look, you think <laughs> his wife is like, well, it wasn't making out. He didn't show time. He didn't give her tongue. No, that okay, dude. He clearly loves me. Yeah. <laughs> All the other things that guy owns besides what he's wearing, it was on the lawn when he got home. Just it's just the the reaction, the moment. As soon as he sees himself on the on the jumbotron, he's like, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, oh why are you put the camera on me. No, honey, what you didn't Yo. see is on the jumbotron, it's a kiss. Somebody who you're not married to, fam. <laughs> and, you know, like, who am I to ruin a fun thing for the fans? And I think we learned because the, the kiss cam in general has right. become a, a thing where uh, people feel like it, it's it's an uncomfortable thing in, in public, uh, you know, in, in a public game or whatever. Because sometimes it's like the common joke, which was, like, mildly homophobic, right? Remember, well, it used they to were be two, two they guys. Were two, they would show a bunch of men and women, and then it would be two dudes. Right. And then it would be like, ha-ha, we're well, uh-huh. laughing we're not gonna kiss. <laughs> not again anymore. You know, but we're no, not drinking I bourbon. Think the, the camera operators out in Ecuador are Making like, <laughs> are like, okay, let's uh, let's get some a uh, blackmail footage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? Who could we? Who could we take that? <laughs> look, uh, and this happens a lot because I I don't think they show commercials in a lot of these countries. Because when I watch 
Like when I'll watch, uh, like obviously using my football TV subscription, when I watch the Uruguayan League, <laughs> okay. like in the moments where they're not playing, they're just the camera's just on a girl dancing in the crowd. Oh, sure, or yeah. Or a guy eating a sandwich, you know? <laughs> it's like on anything. So you should know that coming in. If you got your side piece, you'd be like, I'm sorry, they wouldn't let us sit next to each other just so you don't make it too hot. You know what I mean? But no, my man's got his arm around there. He's kissing her. And the, pa- the problem is that as soon as he sees it, he does the elbows on knees. <laughs> like, no, I was just, oh, yeah, no, what no. you talking this about? Is a, this is a business no, meeting. I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know, I, I was just negotiating. Negotiating. <laughs> I was using some hard negotiating <laughs> skills here. Okay, honey, this is a, a florist to, uh, and she yeah. was telling me about all these new roses that I could purchase for you, honey. And for you, <laughs> for the wedding. Did you know we're going to get remarried? And oh, here see, I, I am. I was trying to surprise you. Right, here I am trying to get us a savings. <laughs> You know how you think her husband feels? Don't even worry about me, babe. My husband. We gotta think her. about their love. You know, you know what I mean? Maybe we should go over. Not you. I'll go over by myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, this immediately went viral. Uh, and then there's an article. Yes. So, they, so everyone assumed this guy was married and cheating on his wife. Turns out, 100, 100 percent. Internet, internet on the beat. Sometimes it's sometimes jumping to conclusions <laughs> is absolutely appropriate. Hot scotch, baby. You landed right on it, buddy. You didn't have to jump too far <laughs> um yeah look what are you gonna do man i like i feel you feel bad for everybody involved right but it's just like don't uh, I, I don't know cheating one-on-one has to be don't bring a girl to a, a very public event like right. this right like, this guy almost ruined our friend the loopers <laughs> 30 for 30 for 30 because <laughs> yes. this guy went dirty for dirty for dirty <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's uh, he's out for a, a, a different journey, a different yeah. a different challenge. The looper's like, here I am picking out all these costumes, <laughs> dancing when all I had to do was make out with someone I'm not married to. <laughs> yeah, and it's unfair, right? Because the looper's doing a, a positive thing for the, the the society and the community, right? And this dude gets more views, right. by doing something terrible, right? That's what yo, the looper just make out with someone. <laughs> And then as soon as the camera switches, you pretend that's not her. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, no, it's this meeting. <laughs> so uh, just, yeah, incredible. Hopefully uh, everything works out. <laughs> yeah, and also in the future, if the cam- the kiss cam goes on just two dudes, just make out full tongue <laughs> and make that cam, that homophobic cameraman uncomfortable. <laughs> Do it for culture. Exactly. Uh, so um, on, uh, we should also talk about some serious soccer right. news uh, as well because uh, Toronto FC, they, they had some uh, uh, big development. Uh, they, their uh, midfielder, Michael Bradley, uh, will be getting surgery. Uh, he had a, a, an ankle injury that uh, he will be out now, I believe, four months. That, that's he doesn't the expected amount. June. Yes. So he's going to be out for a while. He he, he got injured during... Well, he must have gotten in training, right? No. The last few days. No, he got injured uh, in the Major League Soccer Cup, uh, which was <laughs> two months ago. So in the he, MLS World Cup in <laughs> Seattle? <laughs> so he got injured two months ago, getting, uh, sur- getting surgery now. Uh, uh, so instead of being just out about two months, he is now, he will now be out four. Uh, so he missed a lot of the season. Uh, and people- what is what is the reasoning behind the two month gap? My man went on vacation on this injury. Yeah, so but uh, he, I remember even at the game, uh, it was uh, right after the game, it was already reported that he had an ankle injury. Right. Uh, so you would have thought something would have happened. I assume that uh, Toronto FC medical staff were assuming it would either get better on its own. Or well, they- it said that they tried to rehabilitate it with that invasive surgery, and that failed. He's in New York getting the surgery. You want to just go down there, get one of these cameras, go mobile? Hey, hey, you want to break HIPAA compliance yeah. and just bust in the door? Yeah, he's doing it today. So what is it? What, there's four major hospitals? I could probably guess which one he's doing it at. I could call my wife and find out if she knows. I'm sure she'll lose her job if she tells me. <laughs> okay, yeah, just make it. Make it. So whatever, we live on the street. <laughs> Remove the, the, you know, the, the, the income that you desperately need. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 100%. And the health insurance. <laughs> So, uh, but no, he, also Josie Altador uh, w- made very public comments saying that he felt Toronto FC uh, mishandled this situation because, uh, yeah, he wants his, you know, he wants his teammate back, the captain of the team. Also, uh, yeah, I mean, who wants to have one of your best players, a DP even, 
have half the season off essentially yeah and and to be uh and when this could have probably been avoided i don't know what the, exactly the medical approach was we don't know but we know that people are not happy with the decisions that they eventually made toronto fc treated michael bradley the way i treat the garbage when d's like you're gonna take it down i'm like i'll do it I'll do it. Relax. This ain't gonna be fine. We're cycling. We got one box. <laughs> Who cares? Okay. The, the season just ended. What are you gonna make me do work? Next yeah, week. I'm supposed, Who to, cares? I'm supposed to take off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we hope to see him back soon, right? We'll be back right after this. Hola, welcome back, everyone. So uh, we have to talk about uh, another a story that was kind of interesting. Um, yeah, Vincent Company, form, uh, formerly of uh, Manchester City, obviously. Manchester City legend. Belgian national team. Uh, yeah, uh, captain for Man City for a, a long time. Uh, scored that ridiculous goal that basically uh, won them the Premier League. That uh, kept Liverpool off. Remember that, yeah. that, that? That I think he only scored one goal last season. One or two, whatever. But anyway, you've heard of Vincent Company, I promise. I sure hope so. <laughs> uh, so uh, currently he's playing for Anderlecht uh, in uh, in Belgium. Which, if I'm not mistaken, that's his childhood club. I don't know. I assume so because he's the player manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's interesting, right? Because uh, this is, I believe, what Wayne Rooney will be doing for Derby County. He is already there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the uh, uh, he they were recently playing uh, against uh, uh, Club Rouge. Right. Uh, and goalkeeper uh, for uh, Club Rouge is... Uh, Simon Mignolet. Which everybody remembers from the Premier League. From the Premier League, from Liverpool. He, yeah. he was there for a long time. Uh, and there were there was flares thrown. Uh, so the Anderlecht fans, uh, I guess, were not happy with Simon Mignolet for whatever reason. It was like an exploding flare. Some people called it a firecracker. I guess it's not like the traditional American firecracker. I call it a pipe bomb yeah. uh, because I want to <laughs> yeah. speculate. <laughs> we're now in code orange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. But they, they threw a flare and, and it did uh, uh, combust to some degree, right? It popped. You, it popped. So right. He was he, he got a little uh, concerned about it, obviously. I mean, yeah. Someone tells you, like, yo, we got firecrackers. We're throwing exploding stuff at you. <laughs> it's not going to make it easy for you to do your job with it, your back turned to those people. Exactly, yeah. It's uh, it's, it's, it's like a trust fall, but, yeah, uh, but yeah. the people behind the you are holding uh, pitch, pitchforks and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and fire. Uh, so the, uh, the, it's just, the, the cool thing that happened is that Vincent Company actually, uh, even though this was the opposing goalkeeper, right. he went up to the, the supporters and, and, and did a very he was very uh, uh you know passionate and t told them he, he gave them the finger wag the finger he chastised no. them chastised them. he said don't do this and you and you uh you can't hear it but you see if you can read his lips uh he is saying this is my friend this is my friend he kept saying this is my friend stop doing that stop doing that and uh it, again it's just a, a thing you would hope to see uh across all of football right the company's one of those people he like exemplifies this type of character yeah you know his whole career he's been the guy who would stand up and do the right thing I, you know, if someone's throwing firecrackers, I'd be like, yo, homie, you on your own, dog. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> okay, because... Get them, guys! <laughs> As you can see, it is currently a war zone. All yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've kind of lost control here. And maybe me wagging my finger would create more of a target than it really would sort of alleviate the situation. <laughs> uh, so, just it's just incredible. But, it, look, I, I think this is a thing... This it's is so weird to be like, this is my friend. How about he's a human? <laughs> you throw it at somebody else, like, I never liked that yeah, guy. I, like so that guy. I get it. I told you. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Throw flares at my enemies. Yeah. We, we good. Uh, but no, the, uh, the, this approach with, uh, you know, we've seen it uh, for for a lot, especially in the last couple months uh, of fans either throwing things, uh, uh, f uh, you know, obviously either racism and also uh, like throwing a, a drinks or whatever uh and to see a player really not only just uh, uh uh say like hey don't do that to the fans right but like you know uh, hold the dude and be like yo this is this is my man's yeah yeah, yeah. do not do this i ride with this dude yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so obviously they, they, their teammates are uh, playing for the uh, uh, belgian team and stuff like that so they have a lot of history uh so look just like again it's just like you, you love to see it from from right. vincent company he's a, he's what an example so about with uh Simon Mignola? i don't know i don't know what he did there's nothing he Whatever did. it is, Simone Mignola let it go. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay. All right. We could have, yeah, we could have avoided that moment, but we didn't. No, we didn't. <laughs> Step right into it. Much like a firecracker being thrown. <laughs> the, the other thing I wanted to uh, uh, talk about uh, real, real quick, uh, just uh, a couple uh, quick signings uh, that uh, were made in Major League Soccer. That's right. DC United has just traded for your puppy if you're an Atlanta <laughs> fan. So everything you love is no. going to DC. No, uh, Edison Flores, a Peruvian national. That's right. Uh, and then also Columbus. Did you see the video they did for him? We're not going to put it up because we didn't we didn't submit it. To, I don't know if we're allowed to put. No, but you, you didn't see the announcement. I did video? see. I did see the video. They it's took him. A, they they took him to a Peruvian restaurant. Yeah, yeah, which is cool. It's kind of dope, but it's also at the same time like we could have done this at like a yacht, you know? <laughs> Bring you could have ordered it to go and just done it on right. a yacht. <laughs> we could have done this. So I don't know at the penthouse. Uh, no, right? no, I love it. Look. I think DC United is is definitely um, making a, a, a bigger effort to connect with their fans, uh, right? Connect Especially with the, the Latin community, the Latin which community is already there. huge. Uh, exactly, and the video was uh, was in Spanish, uh, so, you know, obviously subtitled and all this stuff. It's great. I think more MLS teams should uh, make that investment into their 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 Spanish speaking uh, community. Especially when that accounts for a large percentage of your fan base, especially your customers that are paying. I, sure. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> they, pay, they have to pay to go yeah. to games. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? <laughs> so, okay, well, there's a lot more uh, to talk about, so we'll get to it. Uh, a little quick commercial right after this. Yeah, baby, we're back. Oh, yeah. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, players that are, uh, you know, sort of wondering what they're going to do when they retire. You know what I mean? I'm one of those dudes like, oh, you think they're going to go into coaching, right? Like here, Vincent Comedy is already player coach, right? Yeah. What's going to happen? I, I, I was going to say Alessandrini. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Antoine Griezmann. Okay. Antoine Griezmann. You sound like you were about to sell some life insurance or something. Yeah. What are you going to do with the rest of your life? <laughs> okay. What's going to happen to your kids? You're currently at your peak. You're doing your best. Yeah. And you probably don't have anything else to think about besides the game. But you yeah. know what? What's going to happen later? <laughs> what happens if this gun that I brought with me shoots you in the knee? Right? <laughs> I feel like you're going to buy this insurance. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? I have, uh, tons of uh, packages that are absolutely perfect for I your mean, situation. Well, you're shaking a lot, but other than that, I feel like you should look at some this convenient <laughs> knee insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it up myself. <laughs> no, I was talking about Antoine Griezmann. Yeah, this is new. This is kind of cool. It's kind of dope. He's starting his own esports team. Yeah. So or what he's calling a grease sports team. A greasy, I think. I think it's greasy, greasy sports. Greasy sports. It sounds just so. Just <laughs> sounds w- like the one I would start. <laughs> <laughs> greasy. Yeah, you see yeah, right there. A little, uh, little cute little penguin. <laughs> so he's uh, so he started an E League. So it's gonna be the the team, and they'll play in in several different games. You know, obviously like FIFA. FIFA's got to be in it. Fortnite. Yeah. Uh, you imagine like a like Call of Duty and things like that. Uh, but so this I is interesting. I've never heard of a player. Stop. I've heard of players becoming somewhat gamers, but I've never heard of one being like, I'm going to get my own squad together. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I, clearly the, the, the there's money in this, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't get involved. Because there's tons of money. These people it, are filling out stadiums. Imagine, uh, like, filling out a roster of, of gamers, you know? Like, what? You, obviously, you look at their stats, right? But it's just right. like it, the, the, the level of commitment. Like, you, you know, you're not in your mom's basement enough. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't think you really want this. Listen, I spoke to your internet service provider, and they say you ain't really hitting the numbers you used to. Okay. Right? Yeah, Wait, right. The bandwidth. The bandwidth a little weak. <laughs> a little weak ain't what it need to be. So, um... It just so happens I brought this gun. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, uh, so, I'm interested in what this is going to, uh, like, his his involvement necessarily. But obviously, he's a, fo- he's a footballer for Barcelona. Well, also, his brother and him are starting this. So, is this him giving his brother a job? Okay, maybe. Is it one of those things like, all right, look, if you're, if you're you're not going to just stop spending my money and playing video games. <laughs> Let's just find a way to make this work for me. Or yeah. this is a way to really work with his brother. Yeah, maybe. Because, look. Because Griezmann is a fan of the video games. Uh, exactly. And also I'll- a fan of Blackface, which we're like, don't do that anymore. <laughs> Imagine him and his brother start a minstrel show. We'd be like, everybody's uh, the, upset at you. The ga- why are the gamers in Blackface? We don't need it. It's not <laughs> Halloween. 
mean? None of this is necessary. And you don't know. This is a, a, another thing. <laughs> Antoine Griezmann for Halloween one time uh, dressed up as a, a Harlem Halloween. Globetrotter in and blackface. He went all the way. <laughs> you could have stopped. Uh -huh. There's there's white Globetrotters. <laughs> you don't. You, you could have <laughs> just put the jersey on. <laughs> you know, he had an afro, blackface, he just went, wild. He went the whole nine. <laughs> and then people were like, yo, you shouldn't do this. And he's like, why? I wanted to dress up like a Harlem Globetrotter. <laughs> Yeah. Harlem ain't even like that no more. I don't know. I don't Stay with the blonde hair. It's closer <laughs> to what Harlem is like right now anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm interested because a lot of players get a lot of, uh, uh, they get, uh, you know, a lot of criticism for right. playing a lot of video games because they feel like, the, the, the coaches feel like they're not focusing on, on actual, you know, playing soccer. Remember my idea, right, which was to force them to play uh, FIFA in their position as themselves. Yeah. No, so you know what? I actually just read a, uh, uh, an article that said this is the one I wrote about how it's genius that players that spend times uh, spend time on their phone or playing FIFA uh, before games uh, make poorer decisions during the actual when they're actually playing. So this kind of suggests that this is not a good idea. Okay, <laughs> I don't. Well, who who ran the study? <laughs> Is it the book lobby? Huh? <laughs> That's what I think. Yeah, uh, maybe. But you know, is I, it the board game lobby? <laughs> they come. They're making a comeback, right? The playing card lobby. They're like, we got magic all tied up. Now you know we what? need to get. Yes. Right, we need to get the deck of cards. Yes, everywhere. that would be great if you just play Hungry Hungry Hippos yeah, before a game. Yo, <laughs> what you doing? The game of life. <laughs> think about the whole thing. So, uh, but uh, Musa, no, who is it? That uh, Dembele that played. Plays on um, is it Musa Dembele on it Barcelona? Musa Dembele. Musa Dembele? There's yeah. a lot of Musa Dembele that are. There's also a lot of Dembele. Yes, uh, but yeah. he, he plays on Barcelona. Whoever the whoever the first Dembele was was getting it in. <laughs> 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 All over the world, too. So he, uh, he's also been criticized a lot because he gets injured often, and right. he also plays a lot of video games. So they, they, that's been like another thing. And now Antoine Griezmann is starting a whole E-League. So I, I want to see if the Barcelona coaches come with the same energy towards Antoine Griezmann. Right, right. Well, he's making it legit. You know, he's, yeah. taking, it, he's taking it to the next level. He's like, no, no, no. I'm not being lazy. I got an LLC. <laughs> Everybody okay, relax. not just uh, you know hitting all the, the all the you know the controllers yeah. and stuff like that. It's uh, I'm it's just a business venture. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm, in fact, get out of my conference room right now. <laughs> okay, schedule a meeting yeah. like everybody else. And also, I told you you're not allowed to be in here unless you're in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> I make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Greasy Incorporated. <laughs> okay, well we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So, welcome back. Right. Uh, we have to talk about Gio Reyna. Uh, yeah. Uh, because he finally made his debut for Borussia Dortmund. Uh, With the first team. Like, this is official. It's huge. So, uh, if you don't know Gio Reyna, he is a U.S. Uh, youth international. Uh, uh, left the NYCFC Academy, joined Borussia Dortmund, uh, and it, it was it was lighting it up at the at the U like twenties in uh, with with Dortmund. He was captain of NYCFC's uh, academy, was he not? I don't know. Uh, you, I believe he was. Okay, okay. So uh, he's you, a U20. U20 captain. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, but he's uh, f he finally got his debut on the in the same game uh, that uh, Erling Haaland also uh, gets his he debuts. Also get hat trick. And a hat trick, which it's, is like yo, like let my man live a little <laughs> bit. You flex it too hard, dog. Yeah, um, huge. I mean, this is um, what makes this huge is that. NYCFC, I don't think, received anything for the transfer. No, no, because they didn't transfer him. He they just left the academy. He left the academy and yeah. then signed with. Borussia Dortmund and now he's already starting now I know Dortmund allows like uh, kids to play at an earlier age that's like their thing they like letting some of the youth players play um, early but it's I think it now we're at the point where like all right the biggest names and the biggest talent that we have in the academies in America are choosing to leave to get a better opportunity yeah, and, and and that money's not going back. Yeah, and if he uh, look, not every player has this kind of opportunity no. uh, to to go to Europe and not actually. Everyone's dad is a GM and yeah. VP. I think now he's with. Well, Austin. it's not. It's not just that. It's um because uh, Claudio Arena mm -hmm. uh, has a passport from I believe. Portugal or somewhere he has a he has a passport a EU passport yeah obviously and he could 
pass on citizenship to his son, uh, and that's why he ends up e making the easy move. American kids uh, that don't have that connection to Europe don't have can can't easily make that move. Right. Uh, but it's good that Gio Reyna took out, took the took the chance, uh, and is also uh, thriving there. Right to get the opportunity. I mean, thriving is another word. He just got there not that long ago. Yeah, and but here he is. Yeah, so uh, so now it really uh, puts into question. Uh, his, he, is he going to get a senior call up for the U.S. men's national team? Uh, if you're playing for Borussia Dortmund, and whether even on the bench, uh, let's say he gets a couple starts. If you make the 18, yeah, you're now it's like, all right, we yeah. got to start getting this kid. Uh, and get he's him. clearly not going to get the January call up because that's a different type of camp. Correct, and it's almost February as well. Yeah. So. But you know what I mean? Like, he's not going to get that call up. You know what I mean? He's going to get Correct, like, but how about um, uh, World Cup qualifiers, which will begin next year? Let's go. You think Gio Reyna is uh, part of that? What position do you think he'd play with the men's national uh, team? He's probably going to be on the wing. Right. Uh, well, we, we had with? When we were talking to Ivis Galarsip about it, uh, We we this is what we were rumoring, right? Like, oh, is it possible this is going to happen this quickly? But now that he's uh, that he's starting, he he helped set up uh, Erling uh, Haaland on one of the goals. Uh, he's looking incredibly comfortable he in the Bundesliga. So good. This is and the Bundesliga is a very high technical skill league. It's not. There's not. Uh, there's a bit more parity in that league than there are in others. Sure. It's so not, it's not like you know when you play with Real Madrid, you get a couple weeks off because you're playing some teams that aren't that great. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often in the Bundesliga. Yeah. And uh, so I, I'm. I'm Curious, um, what the effect of not just uh, if this partnership with uh, with Holland is 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 it gonna be is it real is it really gonna happen is Jorena gonna get a lot of uh, minutes I I I hope he does but Erling Holland more than anything looks like he is uh he came from uh, uh, Salzburg I thought he came from Leipzig. Uh, no, no, no. He came from uh, the Austrian uh, Bundesliga. So he came from Jesse Marsh's team. Yes, yes. Because yeah. remember, he played against uh, Liverpool and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's right. So he, uh, yeah, he was scoring buckets, uh, just yeah. uh, uh, goals. And, and, and to do that, to get a hat trick, your first game in Bundesliga, when everybody's like, oh, you understand, he can do it in Austria or whatever. Uh, and it's almost as good as what Christian Pulisic did, getting a hat trick in the Premier League. So, okay, so America. <laughs> so are you saying that Christian Pulisic is better than Erling Haaland because he got a, a, a hat trick in the Premier League as opposed to Bundesliga? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> step your game up, Bundesliga. No. Uh, no, I think it's a. It's incredible to step in and get a hat trick, no matter who you are, where you are. Y yeah, because well, there there, there was a lot of uh, uh, rumors of where Erling Haaland would go because the, I, I I think he was being looked at by I think United. United, uh, the airline. Probably, the yeah. airline. <laughs> One of my favorites. Uh, <laughs> Terrible airline. <laughs> the, um, but no, I, th I, I could have sworn um, Cristiano Ronaldo was like trying to recruit him to Juventus. Like, to like, his esports team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's uh, he's great in Fortnite, and we really need that kind of talent yeah, I know, on, on our good. team. <laughs> why why sweat so much, dog? <laughs> Get in here, and lose the ass. Speaking of uh, uh, esports teams, remember Jay Ajayi, uh, who uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for With Philadelphia Philly. Uni played for Philadelphia, you know, the e in the EMLS tournament, got waxed beyond belief. It was really really bad. Really, he did not play well. At all. Nice, <laughs> so it was a big deal. So look, NFL players uh, need a little practice before. No, you're lame. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, best of luck in the next tournament. But that was rough. All right. All right. We'll be back with more right after this, everybody. We did it, baby. Another one in the books. Come on. Who's better than us? Nobody. <laughs> Just real, real proud of ourselves today. <laughs> uh, thank you for tuning in, everybody. Make sure you tune in on Thursday uh, because we have an incredible guest. Uh, so excited. A rock star from the National Women's Soccer League, uh, yeah. Elise LeHue. Uh, she's going to be joining us uh, as GM for Sky Blue FC. Sorry, the official title is Mover and Shaker. <laughs> okay. Do big business right. <laughs> at that draft. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to have a, a lot of cool things to talk about uh, with her. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for uh, we got a bunch of cool stuff from uh, uh, ISC. Uh, yes, all thank you to ISC. Baltimore ISC. Uh, ISC support Thank you to everyone so who came out to the show. Thank you for everyone who laughed along with the roasting. Exactly. Uh, make sure and thank you to Total Soccer Show for coming out with us. They were there. Yeah, that was super fun too. So, uh, make sure you follow us uh, on all social media at Soccer Cooligans, at Fubo Sports. Join Gully Squad. Subscribe to the uh, our YouTube channel, Fubo Sports YouTube channel, all the YouTube channels. Call your mama and tell you love her. Okay, make sure you do that. All right, who are you? <laughs>
Who am I? What do you yeah. mean? What's your name? Oh, my name is Christian. <laughs> my name is Christian Polanco. I'm Alexis Guerrero. So together, what are we? <laughs> the Cooligans!